Um, Jason, it's been a busy day of, of media interviews for you today. I mean, it's nice to obviously meet the local media, but it's nice to obviously spend a, a day here at the football club because you're here Saturday, but on a day-to-day -day basis, you want to try and get involved. Absolutely. So we've been here many times before in sort of a covert operations before we uh, before the uh, transaction was announced. And yes, Saturday was our, our first game or my first game after that announcement. And it was great fun, great atmosphere. Brand of football was just fantastic. I thought we were really unlucky not to uh, not to win. Hopefully we can put that uh, right on Friday and Monday. And certainly yesterday I was in the community. Uh, I went with some players to uh, Peterborough Hospital. And it's just really uh, touched my heart to see, uh, see the players uh, interact with the children. They seemed very keen and enthusiastic to do that. I actually found out that they gave up their day off uh, to do that. So I had assumed it had been just after normal training and said, no, no we've actually given up, uh, given up today. And uh, and with the rabbit, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, the rabbit can be like that. I mean, on, on Saturday, you also took the opportunity to have a, have a look around as well. That was important for you on a match day to, to see what goes on. Yes, absolutely. We toured a couple of the stands just at half time and before the game, uh, just to see what the fan experience was and, and look at how, how we could improve that. Now, Stuart, obviously you've um, been in negotiation with Dowie. You've been officially co-owners for what, five five weeks or so, something yeah. along those lines. Wow. How does it feel to sort of be here and, and be, be part of it today? Wow, it's amazing. I, I was saying just going out in the field today and it's raining and it just reminds me of when I was playing at the university ball, just that feeling of the just the wet and the grass and the stadium and, you know, nobody's in it. And uh, it's just fantastic to be part of all of this. And as we've said, we've been here a couple of times covert and just enjoyed the matches and uh, this is going to be really exciting to get in and just sort of feel like yeah this is we're part of this now it's really exciting can you just give us a bit of a background about how it all came together i know you, you met dara out in, in vegas and uh, normally what happens in vegas stays yeah. in vegas <laughs> yeah. but uh, here you are <laughs> Well, that was really interesting because we were we were it was something Jason and I have been thinking about for a while, and and initially we we're actually looking at lower tier uh, teams. Sort of, I called it, get our training wheels around the football business. Uh, Jason and I have been involved in a lot of businesses, and that was one we were looking at. And so somebody had said um, a contact we'd had in social media had said. I know this guy, and he'd be more than happy to help you with a checklist. So literally when we met him in Vegas, it was literally to talk about, here's our checklist. Is there anything else we should add? And it was amazing. Jason and I, uh, Jason's been the best business partner I've ever had, and we've been working together for five years. And Darug fit in with our way of doing things. I know he says we fit in with his way of doing things. I'm going to flip that on him a little bit and say, no, 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 he's doing it our way. No, it's it's actually worked really well. Wow. The conversations have been easy. They free flow, um, honest and open. Whenever one of us is agitated, it comes out. But we've never had a dust up. And uh, Jason and I walked away from that coffee in, in Vegas, and we said, this is a guy I really would love to hang around with. And, and then... I'm just such a big Barry fan, and I think Bob's done a great job here. For us to walk in here, and, and it's all built and ready to go, and we just have to be part of the working community or the working task force, it was just such a great opportunity for us as well as Dart. Yeah, what would you say to, to the supporters? Because obviously supporters have seen the investment come in or the, the co-owners come in. Um, what would you say to them at this stage? I mean, obviously, you, you want them with you or the, on the journey you're going to be on as well, I guess. I would love to tell them, we're not the foreign money coming in to pour tens of millions of dollars into London Road and ABAX and everything else, but you're actually going to be really excited by the way we do things because we're here to actually do it properly, take it step by step, look at expenses, look at revenues, not put it all on the backs of the fans, do it as part of a community, and we think doing that step-by-step -step approach, there's some clubs we can look at that have actually had a really good run. Uh, we won't mention three of them that are in the Premier League that weren't there a number of years ago. Uh, we don't want to be the other clubs, though, the ones that spend piles of money and they end up three divisions down. That doesn't seem like a good strategy. So uh, I, I think I would like the fans to know we're not in here to blow a ton of money, and you're lucky. And, and that's important, isn't it, to have the, the business acumen side of things, to, to know how a football club works and, and how you can plan it over a, a sustained period of time. 
Absolutely. I think the uh, EFL has done a great job in terms of introducing financial fair play mm -hmm. rules. Everyone's on a, on a level playing field. And now it becomes about how, how you can build a business and, and turn that business into a football club that supports, uh, supports obviously the growth of the players and, and puts a really good team on the pitch so there's a good chance or a good opportunity to get promoted. Yeah, I know there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes with regards to the stadium and everything that goes along with that. And I guess with your experience, you can help that along the way. Certainly, we're in discussions with the council, and those have been going on for a number of months now, and we, we welcome them. We think that they're working very well with us and very supportive of, of the club and the community, which is just, just fantastic to have that cooperation for them. And we're hopeful and optimistic about being able to reach a positive conclusion in the, in the future. And, of course, you both come in at such a wonderfully exciting <laughs> time of the season. It's not like you've come in at pre-season. You've sort of got eight games left, and, and I guess it's going to be a roller coaster ride for you guys as, as well as the players and the supporters. Yeah, it's uh, eight cup games left, and everyone is important. And then my favourite one is uh, uh, before I became a Peterborough fan, I used to be a Southampton fan, and uh, I apologise for that, but that was where I was born. <laughs> and uh, my favourite game to look forward is the one where we clinch promotion, uh, last game of the season. At Portsmouth, of course. I'll say it. I know you don't want to, but but it, it is exciting, isn't it? I mean, you, you said yourself on social media how in, involved you got watching the game from afar. So to be here and, and sit in the stands and watch it must be a whole different experience. Yeah, that's, I mean, anytime you're here live, right? I mean, there's there's songs I have to learn. I've been told that, right? Um, and it is. It's, it's so exciting to get up. I, I, for some of you, you have no idea how early I'm up in the morning to catch a Peterborough game, but it's it's part of it. it you feel like you're some, you're part of something bigger than you and I'm really excited about that and we have a role to play in that we have our job to do to make sure that we keep pushing this forward the next eight games go well and the next season goes well so um, yeah I'm pretty excited let's get going let's just get at it